Now, according to Wikipedia, the M7 bayonet is a bayonet that was used by the U.S. military for the M16 rifle. It can also be used with the M4 carbine and as well as many other assault rifles, carbines, and shotguns. It can be used as a fighting knife, yeah, and a utility tool. It was introduced in 1964 when the M16 rifle entered service during the Vietnam War. At nagkakaroon na naman ng pagtaas ng COVID-19 cases dito sa Pilipinas. Subalit ayon sa gobyerno, wala raw na ang pagsuyo ko ay multong haplos. Huli na akong lumampi ng libong taon. Papailing ning, paggamit ning, or the kinabayo could very well be an articulation of this folk. There we go. Farther forward. And we'll go to the false shield. At saka ito, syempre. Ang ating sword. <laughs> Kasi naman, ano po, kung talaga may sword lang po dito. Hello, what's up there? Uh, are you doing fine? Okay, in this pandemic. Um, are you into military? Yeah? Do you collect vintage military stuff? If yes, then you've come to the right video because we'll be talking about uh, this one, this item here. Uh, actually, a vintage uh, M7 bayonet. A vintage M7 bayonet uh, reworked or bicolized. Bicolized because we are in the Bicol region. The Bicol region is uh, in the Philippines, Southeast Asia, and uh, we are in the southern Luzon part of the Philippines. As you know, we have three major islands, the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao Islands. Uh, we are in Luzon, southern Luzon particularly. We are in uh, the province of Camarines Sur. Alright, um, from the outside, uh, you would notice that uh, this is no longer the original sheath or the M8 sheath for the M7 bayonet because it has been vehiculized. Uh, if you have been watching our earlier videos, you would be familiar with uh, how vehicle scabbards are constructed. They are usually made of wood and with particular motif, you know, like this one. Like this motif here, carving there so you can appreciate it better um, it's made of wood as I said particularly maravical wood or black wood or hard wood considered as premium wood for Bicol days as per Bicol blades culture the handle is no longer the original handle as you would notice this one is made of um, carabao horn or water buffalo horn and with rivet okay this is actually uh, something that is uh, restored already because this came to to us already in really you know poor condition. You would notice the you know the metal is already corroded there, and uh, this would require um, some kind of polishing I guess um, but the mechanism here is still working yeah still working now let's look at the blade itself all right right here's the blade itself now this is, this has already been sharpened this has already been sharpened however the markings are no longer present because when we got this this was already, you know, an item from the scrap metal sector, from the junkyard sector. You know, here in the Philippines, it's, it's quite fun to look for items in the junkyard sector because you might just find 
something that would interest you right around seven inches the blade itself is around seven inches uh, there um, and uh, I might polish this soon and feature this again now this is an item that we could uh, just uh, you know keep and you know, just feature and talk about there the spine is still uh, you know thick enough okay blade is sounding well I wonder if we can get another uh, sharpie another metal or blade that uh, can use to listen to the sound of the Maybe we can use this multi tool. There. There. There still has some sort of a ring to it. Oh, yeah, this could be a nice uh, carry when you are hiking. Although, here in the Philippines, uh, due to the current uh, political situation uh, it might be wise not to bring a military item when you hike in the woods because you might come across the Philippine military or the belligerent society and you might get into some trouble because they might mistake you as an operative from either side Okay, either side might <laughs> suspect you as an operative from either side, which could be a problem. So what do you think? Um, feel free to comment on, down below. Um, and also, give me some sort of a tip how to improve this item further. Now, according to Wikipedia, the M7 Bayonet, it's a bayonet that was used by the U.S. military for the M16 rifle. It can also be used with the M4 carbine and as well as many other assault rifles, carbines and shotguns. It can be used as a fighting knife, yeah, and a utility tool. It was introduced in 1964 when the M16 rifle entered service during the Vietnam War. Yeah, there. Um... Filipinos, some Filipinos also participated during the Vietnam War so that could be the reason why we have uh, some of these things over here in fact my uncle you know my uncle participated in the uh, not in the Vietnam War but in the uh, war against the MNLF during the 70s and maybe uh, someone Abicolano also went there and this one came from you know from their supplies right um, Jason here for the Hagbayon channel and TMS talks thanks for watching and remember the pen is mightier with a sword